your acquaintance. Oh, that's a square. I remember square. the first time I met her. It was around Christmas time, and I was at Macy's. And as I walked by the watch section, I saw a Macy's employee helping a couple at the counter. And as I walked by, she glances at me. And her, our eyes definitely met. And it was not a, a just simple acknowledgement that I was walking by. It was definitely a come hither look. And I, I found that especially strange since she was helping a couple and gives me the come hither look. So of course, as soon as that couple left the watch stand, I came hither. I went to her and we began some, some small talk and uh, I really liked her vibe. She was beautiful. She was friendly. Uh, she was very helpful. Uh, she tried obviously selling me a watch and I was very excited after I first met her own. I didn't get her number at that specific moment, uh, but about, f about five minutes later I decided I needed to get her phone number. So about five minutes after I left the watch stand, I came back and I glanced and I saw her. She was actually behind me. She was heading to her break and we both exchanged very pleasant hellos again and I, I told her I needed her phone number. So I got her phone number and then um, I guess the rest is history. Let's fall in love. Well, why shouldn't we? Um, I wanted to share a story about how me and David got engaged. Um, it was in New York City. We spent a weekend there and I always wanted to take him to New York and it just never happened. And finally, uh, after Valentine's Day and my birthday, um, he took me there and it was very nice. So we had a, we had a long day uh, that time. And it was it was midnight, and we went out in Times Square, taking a lot of pictures, and I loved it there a lot. So we took the opportunity to take big time pictures. And at one time, um, I saw David get frustrated at me. I just saw him roll his eyes, and and then after that, I I just kept silent because I know he I know he was upset or something for some reason. And then um, we just kept walking and trying to find something to eat. And then so, um, and so after that, we went back to Times Square again, trying to make the things right. So, um, so we were taking, you know, some more pictures. And then uh, I finally sat down to one of those um, chairs um, in the middle of Times Square. And then he, he said he was gonna take me a picture or one more. And then after that, um, he came up to me, and then we looked at the pictures together. And then there were some guys um, passing by, um, sharing proposal, proposal. And then by that time, I still didn't take that. Uh, he's gonna propose to me that time. Um, and so, um, and so after that, he was kneeling down. I had no idea. And then he took out a ring out of his pocket, and then. Cause your love never fails and never gives up, it never runs out on me. Hello, I'm David. I work in multimedia design for an online university. I love watching sports. I stay fit by playing tennis, cycling, and running. I attend the Harrisburg campus. Although I accepted Jesus as a child, I took his salvation for granted and lived my 20s without much discretion. I did not honor God with my sexuality and relationships. My lifestyle did not reflect one which would have been led by Jesus. The results of my bad decisions eventually led me to a critical junction and knew that nothing would improve until I submitted my life fully to God. I reevaluated my relationship with my Savior and had fully submitted to Jesus. I know that only through believing that Jesus died for my sins and rose from the dead can I spend eternity in heaven. I began attending LCBC over a year ago and have been spending time regularly reading the Bible, 
Jesus is leading my life, and my sexuality honors my relationship with him, and my daily decisions reflect his presence in my heart. My fiance, Hiromi, is with me in the water today. I want to be baptized to show her that I will lead our family within the will of God as I submit to his leadership. Thank you. 